This is Coyote News. After a semester full of different housing-related issues, the future is looking bright. Coyote News' own Sean Kunal got a chance to learn exactly what is going to make the next fall semester move a little more smoothly. With one of the biggest freshman classes on record, USD has had issues finding housing for its students. With future classes projected to be bigger each year, University Housing has integrated a new method for the upcoming fall semester with the help of Assistant Housing Director Cody Burgraff. We've kind of looked at a plan to shift some of our upper class spaces um, and make them some doubles instead of just singles. Uh, so for Brookman next year, there will be a lot more doubles offered over there than singles. Um, so we've, in a sense, created beds where there hasn't been. And then the first floor of Burgess and Norton, uh, both first floors of those two buildings are going to become first year only floors. If returning students want to live in a single room, they have to get an early start on their housing contracts for the fall of 2019, as those rooms are limited. Step one is all the instruction. Step two is verifying your information, making sure, because we pull it in from the university information system so you're not constantly having to enter it. And then uh, it starts to ask about your preferences and interests, and then you have to sign a contract before you are able to select a room. Because one thing our contract does say is it guarantees a space on campus, but it doesn't guarantee where that space is at on campus. The housing applications and room selection will be open until March. Any students who submit their applications after this deadline will be put into a random room selection. With Coyote News, I'm Sean Kuna. The housing contract is legally binding and shouldn't be signed unless a student is positive they will be living on campus.